I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. I've got their mattresses in my camper van, my Class C Bigfoot RV, and my tiny house here. Do you need a mattress for your home or RV? Hmm? Then go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin to get this month 35% off your purchase. They also have specials on their pillows, sheets, blankets, and more. All right. Now, back to our video. Say bye, Tucker. Uh, bye, Tucker. Hey, Dexter. You gonna say bye? We're working on it. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me? I'm good. No, that's not true. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, we have been having snow, sleet, ice, hail over and over and over here at uh, Vagabond Base Camp. What am I looking at? Oh, that's my uh, Starlink. Yeah. And I still have my curtain up here. It's getting cold at night. So I uh, keep that divided. Tucker's trying to get up here on my lap. Keep that divided uh, so I don't have to heat the whole cab of the RV because you lose a lot of heat out of your glass. But uh, you realize I'm making a video, right? Why do you think I'm up here? That's a good question. I've got this little boy's attention sitting here beside me as well. So why are you not good, Camper Van Kevin? Well, nobody likes a complainer. So I, I try not to complain. But... Uh, I don't know if it's the, the low pressure that comes in here with the snow and the ice, but I have been down in my back the worst I can remember, well, since uh, the kidney cancer. Um, yeah, and I've always been able to kind of escape it, get away from it. If I lay flat on a bed or the zero gravity, I get just almost instant relief. This time, no way comfortable. I've been sleeping like a couple hours at night. Um, I'm real uh, uneasy of using any kind of pain medicine because just the one kidney. But uh, it, it has been miserable. So much so that I have an appointment with a chiropractor today. Um, do you remember when baby Maymay, uh, she got her leg hurt? when the gate fell on top of her. Um, well, this is going to be the same chiropractor I took to her. And I went in yesterday and I checked to see if they take my insurance and they do. Um, I think, uh, it's $45 copay and I'm going to do something I've never done. Acupuncture. So, uh, insurance doesn't cover acupuncture. My buddy jumped in my lap. He scared me. It doesn't cover uh, acupuncture, but I think for an extra twenty, twenty-five dollars, um, at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Anything, anything. Just uh, there's there's no way to get away from it. Okay, that's enough complaining. But uh, I'll let you guys know how uh, how it goes and what I think. If you've ever had acupuncture before, maybe down in the comments, let me know the results you've had. But before I go and do that, let me. Um, my last video or the video before, I told you about where I found a Koi knife. Um, my buddy Koi, I met him a year or two ago when I was out in uh, Snowflake, Arizona at the flea market. Uh, bought a couple knives from him. He invited me to his house. To, uh, he wanted to show me uh, how he made them and everything. I go over there and visit him. Um, whenever I catch him at a, a flea market or a gun show or whatever, sit down and talk to him for half an hour or whatnot. Uh, he got sick 
and I wasn't able to get, get him on the phone, went over to his house, turned out he was in the hospital, I went and sat with him at the hospital for a while. Anyway, he got better, come home. I've been down in Phoenix and uh, wasn't able to get him on the phone, wasn't able to get him on the phone. And when I came up, uh, I went to his house and his neighbor came out and said that he had died. So, uh, Coy's also uh, the one that gave me this chimney out here uh, in front of the solar panels, the little outdoor fireplace. Just a, a super good guy. Uh, I had plenty of opportunities to buy another knife from him. But I kept thinking I wanted to make me a custom knife and I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted and he got better he seemed like a lot he's gonna be a lot better he was 78 79 80 somewhere in there and anyway I didn't get that uh get that last knife so I've showed these on my channel before these are some of Koi's knives some kind of African blackwood here with turquoise this has grape, grape wood mixed in with some kind of a, I want to say polymer. Let me take them out of the sheath. But he, he hand makes these as well. So he used Alabama Damascus steel. Then he had another type of steel that he used. I, I don't remember the number. I'd have to go back and look at a video. But all of his knives are marked. Knives by Koi, you see that? On the uh, Damascus steel, he would mark his name somewhere on the knife. You'll see that, it's upside down. Koi. And then uh, this one. I need to clean them. Should have cleaned them a little bit better. But see, they're all, they're all marked. So that's how you know if you got a Koi knife or not. So I've been, I've been pretty busy checking on uh, Facebook Marketplace local and I've seen a couple uh, on eBay. I like them all individually but I think this, uh, I think he called it an African Blackwood with the turquoise. That's my favorite. Losing some of the stitching here. So again I'll keep looking for one and I found one. Now it's big it's bigger than I wanted to carry, but I didn't, the guy in the, uh, in the auction, he had it measured. He showed the same exact size that it was, but I just didn't realize how big it was in person. Uh, it's a staghorn uh, knife that he handmade. Let me show it to you. Boy, you don't miss nothing, do you? This boy is stuck to me like, this boy is stuck to me like glue. Like glue, I say. Yep. So, comparison. This knife feels big when I wear it. And look how much bigger this blade is here. But I'm certain that Koi made it. I'll show you how I know. There's this marking. So, uh... And it's a, a staghorn uh, handle. I'm not really into that, not really, but I was just so happy to find one. Um, I was just so happy to find one that I, I bought it. And he's got a, a buffalo nickel here in the back. But uh, the guy had it on auction for $475. Which I think I think this one was two hundred and these were around one twenty five, one fifty each. So it's quite a bit more. But then again I thought, well what if I never find one again? So I went ahead and bought it, but it's just heck it's it's a sword. It's not a knife. But uh what I'm gonna do uh, well okay, he wanted four seventy five for this knife and I wrote the guy and I told him that a friend of mine made it and that I'd like to have it and I didn't want to insult him with the price but what was the least he'd take for it and uh, I got it for just under $400 shipped which is 
much more than I, I wanted to pay for it. I think Koi would have probably charged around, if it was sitting on his table, probably around 300, three and a quarter tops. But, um, yeah, so he bought it at a gun show. And uh, so I don't know if he bought it from Koi or a, another dealer. So if it may have, had a, may have had a markup on it. So when the knife was in transit, um, I wrote the guy. It was already shipped. It was, it was no returns. It was, uh, he subbed no returns on it. So I went ahead and I asked him, I said, would you mind telling me the story about, you know, how you bought it? I was like, did you buy it from Coy himself or did you buy it through a middleman? You know, what, where was the gun show at? This, that, and the other. And I was quite shocked at his response. Um, I said, you know, he's a friend of mine and I just, I like to know the story of things. And he said, uh, I, I, I gave you a great deal on the knife and I don't owe you anything else. Well, I was kind of taken back by that and it bothered me a little bit. Kind of left a, a bad taste in my mouth. My eyes, I don't think my eyes are straight today. <laughs> I've had four surgeries on these suckers trying to get them straight. And when I'm tired or I'm hurting, my eyes aren't perfectly straight. So I may not be looking at the camera that good. But um, yeah, I mean, he could have he could have said, uh, you're not going to tell you anything or whatever. But he said he didn't owe me an explanation. So, well, I don't feel like I owed him a... Uh, an eBay uh, uh, comment or uh, recommendation either. But long story short, I'm still searching for a Koi knife. And if I find another Koi knife, I'm going to sell this one. It's just too big. I like to carry my knives. This guy said he had it in his safe. Didn't use it. So I, I can see why. It's just too big to, to tote. Okay. Well, I got to get uh, dressed and head to the chiropractor, and I'll let you guys know how that works out. All right, here at the chiropractor, Fawcett Chiropractic. He helped me, may hope he helps me. I won't lie, I'm a little bit nervous being stuck with all those needles. Here goes nothing. I read in this guy's bio that he was into hot rods. Love those Mercury's. 49, 50, 55, or 56. I always, the 57's are easy to find, figure out, but I can't tell the 55's and 56's. Maybe you guys could tell me down in the comments below. But I know it has something to do with this fin, or lack thereof. Here's a 57. Very easy to tell those. 55 and 56, I can't tell the difference. Well, here comes my ride. So, uh, that didn't take but a minute. He wasn't able to do the acupuncture today. Uh, kind of surprised me. He shut the door. Uh, I got to come back for that. But he did about three moves on me. He says, I can see right where it's at. So he said, I'll put it there and we'll see how it holds. All right, All right, made it back to Vagabond. You guys see the snow back there on the mountains? Yep. But it feels like spring, summertime now. All right, well, I think that's going to make today's video. Didn't get the acupuncture like I hoped. He only made three or four adjustments on me. I feel better. Let's just hope it holds. All right, well, I'm going to end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Lord and Savior. Bye from Concho, Arizona.